Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today I will talk about how to install Nexus in a virtual machine. You can use any virtual machine from any cloud provider like Google Cloud Platform or Microsoft Azure or AWS. In this tutorial, I will be using Google Cloud Platform. So let's proceed. As you see, I am already logged into my Google Cloud Platform. So I am just simply creating one virtual machine instance over here. Clicking on create instance, give a name. I am giving as Nexus because I will be installing Nexus in this virtual machine and keeping other parameters as it is because I do not need to change, just changing the image because I will be using Ubuntu. So just selecting Ubuntu, let it be 16.04, allowing HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic, both, click create. Now our instance has been initialized and it is running. Before going further, let me tell you that to install Nexus into this virtual machine, we have to run a set of commands and I have arranged all these commands into my Git repository. You can browse to github.com slash aws take guide slash script and you will find Nexus install in Ubuntu. All the set of commands will be using one after another so it will be easy for you as well when you will be installing Nexus in your system. So first thing is that it is updating the packages next is installing OpenJDK 8. So let's go to our console and our instance is up so I'm just opening it in a new browser. We are connected to our virtual machine, so I am just updating the packages. sudo apt get update. Now installing OpenJDK 8. Well, it has installed Java successfully, so clearing the console. And let's check the Java version. Yeah, it has installed OpenJDK 1.8.0. So let's go back to our script and now we'll be installing Nexus into OPT directory. So we'll be browsing inside OPT directory and we will download the package of Nexus. So let's go to root let me change the user to sudo user now just going to root and then opt directory and here we are in opt so here we will be downloading the nexus package you will get this URL from my GitHub repository or otherwise you can just browse to Sona type website to download Nexus. You will get the latest one. So currently the latest version is 3.24.0. It has downloaded the tar.zz and we know that we have to extract this file. So extract this file. I'm just using tar command. Yes, it has extracted. So just clearing the screen. Yeah. Now just renaming this directory name Nexus and version to Nexus. So it will be easy. So it will be easy to type every time. we have renamed the directory. Now our next task is to create one user to start Nexus. The reason is it is a best practice not to use root. Just create one new user 
and use that user to run Nexus. So to use create one new user, we will be just creating a new user named Nexus. You can give any name. Create enter, add a password. Retype. Now just press enter. Yes, now the user has been created. Now we have to add the privileges to this user. To do that, we have to edit the sudo file. So I am just editing vi sudo. Now add your newly created user. That is our nexus and add the privilege. And for this tutorial purpose, I am just adding it no password. Well, so just saving it. I have saved it. Next thing we have to change the ownership of the directory where we have installed Nexus. So I'm just copying this. It is nothing but just changing the ownership to Nexus newly created user. So this is the one. The next one is there is another directory which is called Sona type word. Sona type word making the same change. Well, now we have to update this Nexus.rc. Nexus.rc, let me show you. Inside this Lexus.rc, it is, it holds the user which runs Nexus. So we are just uncommenting it and mentioning that our Nexus user will run Nexus service. Saving it. Next is we are creating a service that once we reboot the system or restart the system, it should automatically start the service. We are just entering, we are just making an entry to create Nexus as service. And now it is the time to start Nexus. Now before starting Nexus, let's change our user to the newly created user. So that is Nexus, yes. We have changed the user. Now just run this to start. Starting Nexus. Well, now let's go to our Google Cloud platform to check the Nexus, whether it is accessible through our browser or not. In Google Cloud Platform, the virtual machine we have created, copy the external IP from here. And remember one thing, that Nexus works on port number 8081. So as we are using Google Cloud Platform, you should have one ingress rule which allows 8081. If you are using Microsoft Azure, then add it in your network role. If you are using AWS, then update your security group and add one inbound role to open a TCP port 8081. Since I have that 8081 already opened for a, an ingress role in Google Cloud Platform, I am just typing this pass, uh, typing this IP 80 81 is our port number enter and our nexus repository manager is up and running as you see now by default it shows this landing page and you have one option to sign in over here so if you click on sign in and as you see your admin user password is located in opt sona type this location so let's go to this location first and see what is there? 
copying this let's go and do a cat perfect so let's copy this password from here add username as admin add password sign in now it has logged in as admin and it is asking to set up this wizard will help you to complete required setup task click on next add a new password i'm changing the password well next enable anonymous access or disable i am disabling it definitely you will not allow any anonymous access you can go ahead now clicking on next finished now on the left hand side there is a small panel and you see that if you click on browse you get the number of type of repository you can create you have the option to upload as well on the left hand side you get that upload content to the repository so this is how we have installed nexus repository manager in a virtual machine thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any question write in the comment box below i will be happy to help you see you in our next session where i will show you how to integrate Nexus Repository Manager with Jenkins. Thank you.